as the gaming industry moves steadily into the next era, there's more and more emphasis on multiplayer and on collaborations not just between players, but also between the leading developers and companies in the market. As handheld devices like cell phones and the Nintendo Switch become powerful enough to run the biggest titles, cross-play is becoming a more important issue. And yet, Sony, the dominant market leader, are still essentially refusing to take part in cross-play innovation. PlayStation. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays and click on the links in the description to vote on upcoming content. The question of Sony's aversion to crossplay has come back to the fore following the launch of Fortnite on Nintendo Switch, where players who tried to link their PlayStation accounts with the Switch were sorely disappointed. Progress in purchases cannot be carried over from the PS4 to the Switch, meaning players who want to spend their time split between the two consoles would have to completely start from scratch on the Switch version. The fact that this is not an issue with players on Xbox or PC, who are free to swap what console they use any time they want without risking losing anything, has started up some questions and accusations around Sony's stance on crossplay yet again. While the same issues were brought up when this also happened with Minecraft and Rocket League, with Fortnite currently being the most popular game in the world, it's definitely beginning to look bad for Sony that they prevent crossplay over every major console and device. It's even become an issue for games that haven't been released yet, with Todd Howard of Bethesda saying that the reason Fallout 76 will not support crossplay between the PS4 and other consoles is because Sony is not playing well with others. In Vault 76, our future begins. But when it comes to why Sony are taking this route, the reasons are numerous, though it's hard to determine which ones are taking precedent within the company. Ex-head of Sony, John Smedley, said the reasons are entirely financial. That is, Sony does not want people getting access to something on PlayStation if they paid for it on an Xbox. But seeing as Smedley hasn't been with Sony for years, this excuse could be kind of outdated. Current Sony boss Jim Ryan expressed different concerns, ones about the safety of young players in environments Sony can't control or monitor. Xbox's Phil Spencer may have loudly disagreed with this, but Ryan technically had one thing right. Sony is a highly trusted company within the gaming world. If they weren't, they wouldn't boast the largest share of the market and the largest active user base. For everything people judge Sony to be doing wrong with crossplay, there's a myriad of things that they're also doing right. After all, they are thought by many to be the winners of the current console generation. <laughs> There may currently be a large focus on multiplayer games, but Sony's victories lately have come in the single-player region. All of their console-selling exclusives are well-established single-player franchises. The Last of Us, Ratchet & Clank, Bloodborne, God of War, these are huge titles and only a very small amount of Sony's vast repertoire of outstanding games. In terms of this level of prestige, Microsoft seems unable to compete. Narrative-based games with basic gameplay and story focus, like Remedy's Xbox-exclusive Quantum Break, just don't measure up to the gaming royalty of Uncharted, and Uncharted didn't have any time travel. Historically, Sony's exclusivity and roster of trusted games has been a system seller, and the reason to buy a PlayStation over an Xbox or even a PC. Tell me about it. However, with this in mind, it seems bizarre that Sony still won't allow cross-play. Letting players play with people on other consoles in the biggest multiplayer games would probably be seen as beneficial to their public image, and maybe even more of a reason to buy a PlayStation since the crossplay feature is one of the biggest reasons to buy an Xbox instead. It also probably wouldn't affect the exclusivity of their single player games. It seems that the only people being severely punished by Sony's stubbornness are the consumers, loyal fans who may even give up on getting to play the latest Naughty Dog hit in favor of a more inclusive and fun environment that they can enjoy with their friends. I guess I got my head in the, clouds. the lack of PS4 crossplay could even shift the market away from Sony when the next console generation comes around, so they have more to worry about by not switching to crossplay rather than if they do. Players will be happy to hear that many major gaming outlets are predicting that PS4 crossplay is inevitable, though, especially as the industry changes to allow for more dynamic playing experiences and choices of which console to play on. And as Todd Howard proves, it isn't really good for developers either. But Sony have proven themselves to be as loyal to their fans as their fans are to them over the years, so hopefully the issues around console-wide crossplay will soon be a thing of the past, and we can look forward to gaming together. Thanks for watching Mojo Plays. Be sure to subscribe and click on the link in the description below to check out our suggestion page and vote on what content you'd like to see us cover next.